Liz. Hi, I'm Jackie, and this is Yarn and Clash. And today we're going to be talking about yarn and relationships. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, um, I mentioned this earlier that like I started knitting as like a thing like, with me and my friends. So like, that's that's like um, what type of relationship right there that this has like a positive connotation to. But another one is um, it's not exactly knitting, but like my mom, she's very much like. Um, if I ever have a hole in anything, like she, she'll stitch, make, and like she just does it all. Um, and so she's always instilled in us so many as well. And so when I brought this on, she was like, that's something that I don't know how to do. Let's, let's trade crafts. And so um, it kind of became a thing when like, uh, she'd show me more complicated um, sewing patterns and just kind of what we used to do. And I was like, okay, well, hold your needles like this and let's get to work. And so it was kind of cool, kind of just like a thing that me and my mom could do together as well or just um, just share with. And she could her face and when I like showed her this, she was like, oh, it looks so good. And I was like, no, mom, it's not good. I like, uh, you can see here. And she's like, no, it's so nice. So it's just like having an old cheerleader who like gets what you're doing. So are you yeah. talking about balls or sweet? No. Old I said I said having a little cheerleader oh, that like that um, your mom. gets what you need to tell me. She gets all the terminology and stitching and all that stuff. Yeah. Right. So what about y'all? I kind of my friends are always um well some of them can be kind of confused when I talk about my yarn things. <laughs> but I've definitely had a lot of friendships be strengthened by this shared craft too and like we'll get together and uh crochet or knit together on like a Saturday morning and have breakfast together and just hang out and all work on projects and it gives you like a place to for like like an excuse to work on stuff too or to like catch up on a project you haven't done in a while or to try to learn a couple new stitches. Um yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely fun to do it in groups of people and get to share little tricks together and help each other. So, I'm pretty sure I agree with that. Um, I guess the main relationships that come to mind are um, so over like this past summer, I went to Mexico for a month to visit my family, and I spent a lot of time with my aunts. And at that point, I knew the basics of crocheting, and so I kind of took that with me. And then while I was there, you know, I mentioned it to my aunts, and they kind of took it upon themselves to teach me, like, little tricks and uh, really the basics. Like, they taught me, my aunt Kat taught me how to hold the needle, um, which she was like, once you learn how to do that, it'll be fine, and um, you'll be able to, like, zoom through and... I'm doing it, so thanks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and the, actually, the person who taught me how to crochet um, is actually my friend Kendra. <laughs> uh, yeah, she taught me how to crochet. She taught me the basics of how to do like a chain, and she sat with me for like a good two hours just explaining that to me and explaining the concept. So I definitely think that was like a little special moment that I was able to share with her and, you know, I can always say, hey, you know, my friend Kendra taught me how to do this. And, um, I'm thankful for that. <laughs> Those are my two main uh, relationships when it comes to yarn. Mm-hmm. But you all teach all significant other, so, I mean, so, how do you say crochet? I, I feel like my boy would learn just to make me happy. <laughs> uh, I would love that. I would love to be able to teach something that I know to someone that I really care about. Yeah. And um, live together and, you know, like watch Netflix and crochet mm-hmm. or whatever. Like another aspect of Netflix and show like yeah. Um, so, gotcha. yeah, I definitely would. <laughs> So, if you have something on the radio, talk about how you knit. Or talk about it. Mm-hmm. Or like, ooh, what that like? I'm going to tell you. Like, I'm just going to start blushing. I'm going to start blushing. I'm going to start blushing. Do it. Cool. I met my boyfriend on Bumble. I always tell people when they don't know what that is, it's like a classier Tinder. 
because girls have to message guys first. Whoa. I know, yeah. It's like I found it because I just wanted attention. I didn't ask for anything, but um, I just wanted to see, you know, what kind of attention I could get, uh, what kind of guys were into me. Um, yeah, and I know he was the first guy I talked to, too, so I feel like accomplished. Like, yeah, first one, and it worked out. I had to go through a bunch of BS of like dating over and over different people. But yeah, he's really sweet. Um, he'll play video games while I crochet, so that's how we decompress together. Yeah, I don't know, he's goofy and awkward. Like me, my friends have met him a couple times, but they don't get much out of him because he's quiet. <laughs> but I mean, that's okay. Yeah, I know, we have fun together. And I grow up and his friends quite a bit, his co workers, so yeah. I like him. That's also I want to know <laughs> how you felt so happy about that. What were your tips? I, I don't know. I'm, I mean, like, in general, I'm not like a super sociable person. Like, I talked to a couple other guys, and none of them seemed very, like, serious or that interested. Um, so, I don't know, just like finding the person who's interested in you and can and will send you like long texts and ask you questions because that means they want to get to know you. Um yeah, I don't know. I just I'm a very intuitive person where I like to think that I am at least. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just like following your gut and using that to make the right decisions and but also like not being afraid like give people a second chances too if like maybe the first day wasn't that awesome or you know you just have to kind of see how things go right and I think it's interesting how you mentioned that you were like you found a bubble like just for fun just for fun yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah it's like yeah, I've never done that kind of thing before either and I've never really like, put myself out there yeah a lot I've only like, been in a handful of relationships but yeah, I mean, just being willing to try something new, I guess. But that's just from my perspective, at least, for sure. I think that's really cool, too, just because I feel like online dating is the thing now. It is. It is. And, like, I mean, I'm just it is. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying, like, that's how, oh, my God, I have so many friends that are married now. And yeah. The first thing they ask, or, like, they ask, like, oh, my God, what's your week? Yeah. And it's Bumble or... The most shocking Tinder, and I'm like, well, I'm big on right. Tinder, and I, yeah, my sister met her fiance on Tinder. Wow, so I mean, See? everything is a trade. <laughs> oh yeah. man, but it's definitely it's kind of like the new standard for dating too, which is it's weird. It's like you don't just have meat cutes as often no. anymore. But yeah, like you have meat like, cutes, cute. you know, where you like you could rock to each other. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, like, awkward, and cute, it's like the lifetime hallmark kind of thing. Yeah, okay, here's me cute some respect, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy Kaylee made a career out of that, so do the show some respect. Um, well, I'm not in a relationship, uh, so I can't relate there, but I have talked to like a handful of people, and crochet has actually come up. Uh, <laughs> Just because they've like asked me, like, oh, what are you doing? And it just so happened that I was crocheting actually this blanket when, you know, that was when they asked me. And, um, but I think this is just a telling story of my luck with the guys that I've matched with on Tinder because their response was either, oh, that's really like, I just picture you as like a cute homebody mom. Now I was like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Was that, this is very really terrible. Yeah, I was, don't say that. So yeah, don't, don't say that. that. Tell her I think she looks like a homebody mom. No. Yeah. Okay. She was like, I'm really getting these mom vibes from you, and I'm really yeah. into that. Yeah. Wow, I'm into that. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? So he was dropped. Um, <laughs> second. <laughs> Yeah, from, I could go on, um, but that was like the main one. I was like, oh man, dude, that was not the right thing to say. Oh, I could play. <laughs> what about you? That <laughs> My go-to is I always think the boys are weird. Um, no, but when it comes to when it comes down to like um, 
knitting and yarn and just things like that with relationships. I do this in like public. Um, and so um, like in undergrad, I'd be like sitting in the lobby of my dorm with my friends and just like they'd be playing pool and I'd just be like knitting. And so that was always like a good conversation starter. So I'd be like, people approach me and they'd be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know, because I'd be like knitting. It was like, well, okay, I'm going to play. That's exactly what she did. Um, <laughs> drop the needle. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, you're like, I'm, I'm knitting. And he's like, really? Well, like, can I watch? And I'm like, no, no, no. I like to ask if you can watch them draw. Yeah. And it's just like, the, they're like, how do you do that? And then they just like watch and say, so yeah, you look at the combination of and they'd be like, okay, so that's your name. You're like, what are you doing here? Stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, like, it was always been, like sparking things. Um, Just wasn't there. Sorry, Adam. I'm sorry, Adam. 
Sorry. Yeah. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we have. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.